really nice of you to say that I'm one of the smartest people. I don't think I am. Uh, I just come up with crazy ideas, and then I have a smart team to execute them. Uh, okay, let's see how this works. Oh, wrong way. All right, so I'm here to actually uh, help you guys understand what the future of mixed reality and its applications are. There's a huge amount of buzz out there regarding VR and AR technologies. But after you uh, kind of solve the AR par paradigm and the VR paradigm as it's, as it's actually already been solved, you get into the new world of what's called mixed reality. And then after that, there's another level that I'll also talk about here today. So to best explain what mixed reality means, uh, it's a little echoey, so apologies. Um, is to kind of break up mixed reality across four different spectrums. This is called the virtu virtuality continuum, and it spans everything from the real world all the way to a fully immersive VR world. So reality is basically your real world. Um, augmented reality is where you take your real world and you add um, like virtual elements into it. Augmented virtuality, this is a little bit uh, unique, is that you're in an immersive virtual world and you start to bring elements of the real world into the virtual world. For example, your hands, like if you're surrounded by a virtual scene that's the beaches of Hawaii, you can bring up your hands and you actually can see your real hands interact with the virtual world. And of course, virtual reality is where you're completely immersed and you're in a completely different uh, presence of a synthetic or uh, a synthetic environment that could be a virtualized version of your real world or a completely magical world of your dreams. So mixed reality does all of that in one complete experience. And that's, that's pretty difficult to do. So, um, you know, at, for about four years, Sulon's goal was to build a surreal experience headset or uh, a device that actually can allow you to live surreal experiences. And, uh, and our goal, we ended up falling into the category of mixed reality. And uh, it was very, it's quite a difficult task to achieve. And, uh, and as we propel forward into that, uh, this is going to be an extremely valuable paradigm for the future and all the different experiences we're going to be achieving and experiencing. So what are some of the applications of mixed reality? So I'm going to help you give you some context here about what mixed reality can do for us. There is a demo on our website at sulon.com if you want to watch this video since I don't have the video on me right now. Um, and this is a, uh, an actual demo. There's no CGI at all. And when you wear the experience, you actually can see it's based on Jack and the Beanstalk storyline. And a fairy tale book opens and floats in front of you. And some magic beans comes out and floats around your environment and enters the ground that you're uh, just, just in front of you. And this is where a ravaging beanstalk just smashes its way through your floor, up into your ceiling, and tears a hole right through everything right in that path. You hear a fee, fi, fo, fum, as he pulls the as a giant will pull out this beanstalk. But you don't see this giant because obviously you have your real world around you. And yet you just have this hole that has this gigantic beanstalk right down the center of your, your, your view. As the beanstalk gets pulled out, you now see everything behind this beanstalk, which is your real world, a crumbling floor, crumbling ceiling everywhere. The giant reaches down in th through the hole in your ceiling and grabs you at the waist. It grabs you at the waist and pulls you out through the hole in your ceiling up into a virtual world. So it started off with the real world. It went on to an augmented reality experience where you had a magic beanstalk smashing through your, 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 uh, your floor and your ceiling. And then now a giant came and grabbed you out from your real world into a virtual world. And now you're looking, staring face, eye to eye with this gigantic, ugly giant. And he's going to lecture you about planting seeds. And uh, after you explore that environment, you can, take, you can take a look down at the house that you just came out. And you see a part of your real world through the hole in that house, 
from the top of that ceiling or the top of that roof. He'll eventually put you back into the room after he lectures you and all of the different pieces of your environment gets put back together and as the, as the, the demo ends. That is an actual demo. I'm sorry I didn't bring it here with me today. Uh, but I wanted to use this time to educate you. But you can go and see the video for yourself on our website. Another application is let's say you're going to buy a home. Now, an architect would naturally design a home in 3D. Now, you're going to go build this home on this lot that you, you like. Mixed reality allows you to place that house that, that was just created in a virtual content on the, um, on the lot that you're going to build it. From the outside, you'll see an augmented reality version of this house on top of this lot. You can landscape it. You can do everything you want from the outside of this house. But now you can walk through the front door of this virtual house that's sitting on your empty lot. And now you're seamlessly walking into a virtual house, and now you're placed in, a virtual, in the virtual setting of the interior of that house. You can go up to a window in that house, and you can look out through the, win the window, and now you're having an augmented virtuality scene where you actually can see the backyard through the window or your, your uh, I don't know what are those called, those sliding doors that you open up for to go into your backyard. And you can interior decorate your entire house. All of that in one seamless experience. Everything from the design to the consumption and the sale of that property as one of the millions, of, like infinite applications. It's infinite because we naturally do a lot of our content and a lot of our consumption on 2D monitors, which are finite levels, uh, finite levels of boundaries, right? So when you take that away, and now you're working into 3D, you have infinite possibilities. Now you're really boundless. You have no limits. You can experience anything you can pretty much fathom. And that's what mixed reality takes us to. But there is a world beyond mixed reality. But you have to solve mixed reality first. Once you, once you go past mixed reality, the evolution of computing will start to accelerate. That 2D confinement of a monitor is still going to be applied to your computers, your laptops, your PCs, your tablets, your phones, everything. And now you, you're going to get into the world of 3D computing where all of our actual problems are going to actually be solved. And this is a small gift that kind of shows you how <laughs> an entire workstation gets amalgamated into the future. Uh, sorry about that little bit of marketing there. <laughs> this is called spatial computing. Mixed reality is the backbone technology for the future of computing. It would allow us to digitally decorate our environment in any way we wish with any number of monitors and screens and televisions and, and displays as we wish. And from there, the future is pretty much endless. Any questions? for you to create a 10 to 15 minute mixed reality uh, experience and uh, um, uh, who would be the, the, the client uh, willing to pay that much money to get that personalized experience on a book or a movie uh, from you? Well, one of the things that we did with uh, specifically our platform, because I can't really talk about too much of the other ones, um, is that we made sure all of the existing content that's supported today on 2D computing was supported and more enjoyable on existing, um, on existing uh, experiences. Right? So you can make the monitors any size you wish. You can put them anywhere in the space. And you can, still t you can tell stories and watch movies and, and enjoy all of the content that you, s you have today just in a more immersive and, I guess, better experience. From there, to actually generate mixed reality content, 
Um, it really depends on the type of content and the sophistication of it. So that demo uh, was an engineering demo that we created that took us about 30 days. But it really depends how many people you have and the type of content it is. Who would develop it? Uh, I don't know, it's, it's endless. Uh, pretty much anyone that has an idea and they want to dope content to actually be able to convey or to show someone an experience um, can develop. Last question. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no questions. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it.